Today is finally the day. We're loading up the bikes, heading toward Lolo, then out of town on Highway 12 towards Idaho. It's a big climb today, and then tomorrow we're capping off at Lolo Pass. Today should be a nice flat trip towards Lolo, and then a long climb up Lolo Pass. I've never been to Montana, so I have no idea what to expect, but I assume it is beautiful. Let's go see what it looks like. door. Uh, one last tire pressure fill up before we actually hit the road. Always seems like there's one last thing. If you're getting ready to go in the morning and you got a strict time leaving uh, limit, get ready earlier because there's going to be several things that you forget about I'm sure. Uh, we always forget about a few things in the morning especially that very first day. So give yourself a little bit of extra time you won't regret it. <laughs> All right I think about 45 seconds into the trip had a little bridge we had to get across and I started cranking it out about as hard as I could so I wouldn't slow up traffic. Get to the other side and oh man, killer head rush. Had to stop for a second. Totally overexerted myself in the first, uh, you know, five minutes of the trip at the, at the best. So another word of advice, start slow. You got a long ways to go and you got plenty of time. Well, I came back to life, and we found the bike trail. Now it's beautiful. Obviously an amazing biking community here. <laughs> oh, that was a great way to start the, uh, the bike ride. Got to meet the Missoula Bike Ambassadors and uh, some guys who just did the path we're doing backwards today is going to be a good day. Ooh, I am nice and visible, aren't I? I told you. Bitterroot Trail, beautiful. Just necking along the city, keeps you out of the, the street. Loving it. Ah, nice bike path that keeps us off the freeway. Going right along the Bitterroot River. It feels so good to be actually out on the bike. We've only gone about nine miles, and I don't think we've gone up any hills. So at this moment right now, I'm feeling really good. Well, I felt really goofy the first day doing it. Made it to Lolo, got some food at the subway. Now the long journey out, what a uh, other cyclist earlier called El Pass. Lolo Hot Springs, 25 miles. I can do 25 miles. Now this really begins the trip, this section here. We're finally on the side of 12 West, and boy oh boy, this looks like it's gonna be a good journey. And now we're on the freeway. This is what I've been waiting for. We got 18 inches all to ourselves. Woo! Loving it. Nice narrow little road. Only a 1% grade. I could do this for weeks. Good thing, because I'm about to.
taking a really nice little pit stop before we start climbing up Lolo Pass. We're gonna do half today, stay at a hot spring, and do half tomorrow. All right, pit stop success. We're ready to get back on this narrow shoulder and start climbing the road. I said there was a point of interest in a quarter mile. This is the spot. Lolo Peak. Thankfully today, we are not climbing over Lolo Peak. Lolo Pass is about uh, 4,000 feet lower. Thankfully. We're only about 20 miles in, and we're already talking to animals. I'm sure you've noticed this on other people's bike touring videos. Yeah, things get a little wild once you get out into the wilderness. Well, from what I can tell, we're on the uh, the climb up Lolo Pass, but I don't know if you can tell in the video, it's, it's flat. So I'm just gonna take it and enjoy it. Well, we've been on the road for a little while and it is uh, 92 degrees now. Uh, we're glad we've got the brims and some misting bottles to keep us cool. The wind isn't bad and this hill is really easy. Highway 12 isn't as hard as I thought it'd be. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> How'd that feel? Amazing. The water's nice and cold, but not too cold either. All right, so <laughs> it is really hot. It's like 93, 94 <laughs> degrees. And we stopped at the creek and you know it turned out we ended up getting <laughs> getting a little bit more intimate with each other than we planned on getting on this bike trip, but uh, there's no regrets. It, it feels great and yeah, we're really. evaporative cooling. We'll be back on the road in no time. Yeah. Oh. So we decided to filter a little bit of water before we left. Just uh, one of those extra extra words of advice. Make sure you've tested everything before you head out on the trail. Uh, we came with two water filters, and one of them uh, did not come through for us. Having a second one was invaluable. If you're traveling in a group, uh, don't feel bad about doubling up on a few of the things that are really important, just in case one fails you. Montana. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Uh, is this what you pictured Montana looking like? Indeed. This is a beautiful Montana. I agree. passing the Lolo Creek campground. It looked pretty nice. Yeah, we're only about 29, 30 miles in. So we're gonna keep going, but not a bad spot. Oh, they're talking a big moose game out here. I uh, haven't seen a moose yet, but I think both of us are looking forward to one. Uh, neither of us have seen one in the wild before. So hopefully, hopefully they'll come through for us. We'll get a big moose. We did see a beaver run across the road earlier. You know, there's some pretty good stuff so far. Beautiful. Hammered out a few more miles. It's still pretty hot even though it's late in the day. So we decided to stop here along the river and uh, take another little break. Gotta keep enjoying the scenery. Feel uh, Montana's probably gonna go quickly. Five miles down. I have to take another quick break. All right, we're 
ready to Lolo. Now we finally made it uh, to Lolo Hot Springs. And looks like we've got Insta friends. All right, we got all registered for our tent site. And we just gotta find somewhere to camp. What's up, bro? Yeah, what are you doing? I spent a little bit of time selecting the right spot. There's just about no shade besides one little tree over there. But the sun's going down soon and we're headed over to the hot spring, so I'm just gonna take this nice table right next to the water. That way I can listen to the sound of the water and get to sleep tonight. Well, today was an amazing day. We started in Missoula and headed out along the Bitterroot Trail and stopped at Subway, then headed out Highway 12. Highway 12 we thought was a hill. In fact, it was not. It was flat. And we got all the way here, and that was awesome. The campground just happens to be right next door to a hot spring, and we got in there, ate some uh, food afterwards, and I'm exhausted, so I'm gonna head to bed. Can't wait to see what tomorrow has in store.